find yourself a big open space, hopefully more open than this. <laughs> this is not actually ideal, but it will work for today's exercise. Uh, when I first started drifting, I was on like a huge pad. It was probably wider than these buildings and it had none of these speed bumps or anything in it. So find yourself a good concrete, pavement pad, whatever you can find, even dirt on a will work. And what we're gonna do, if you have cones or something similar, that's gonna be even better but I'm assuming most of you don't have cones. I don't even have cones, so we're gonna do it without cones today. So essentially, you're gonna set up a circle. If you don't have cones or anything, just set it up in your mind, right? Here, fortunately, we've been here before, as have a couple other guys, so there's kind of a natural circle of tread marks going around. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna follow that circle. You're not drifting now. You're just getting up into second gear, you're driving in a circle, and you're going faster and faster until you feel that loss of traction. And that's gonna basically be a cheat to initiate rather than having to do a clutch kick or a power over or anything like that or a handbrake initiation. We'll just be able to use the car's basically uh, lateral grip or loss of lateral grip to initiate that drift. So we're gonna go around in circles, around, 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 faster and faster until that rear end goes out. And then we're just gonna get on the throttle really lightly and that will essentially get us in a drift and get you the feeling of drifting faster than any other exercise that I've ever experienced. So this exercise you can actually do in a somewhat smaller space, even though I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> but this one is a little bit harder only because you do have to initiate yourself. You can't start and just use your, your momentum. So grab something, anything that you can see. Um, I'm just gonna use a spray bottle, but we're just gonna set it here. And it's literally as easy as getting that initiation and just trying to do donuts around this point. And then what we're gonna do from there is once you kind of have a donut going, it's probably gonna be like an oval or somewhat oblong because you're just trying to get around. Once you start feeling like you're getting a little bit more consistent, try to get closer and stay closer to that point and then move further away and keep a consistent circle. You know, maybe let's say 10 feet away, do circles there, and then do them the opposite way as well. All right guys, so we just get, got kicked out of the warehouse. Um, super bummer, but we ended up heading over to Dirty Bird Concepts. I'm gonna see if maybe John will let us do some donuts. Say please. Please? Let's do it. Okay, so now you're essentially drifting. You're doing donuts. Now it's time to transfer and try to do a figure eight. So now it's as simple as two points, right? So we're gonna start doing our donuts around the one circle. I'm using my iced coffee as a clipping point. Hopefully I don't hit it because it's quite flavorful. So do donuts around one point. When you feel that you're ready, you're coming around this point and you're just gonna you're just gonna transfer, you're gonna let off the throttle, let the wheel spin, let the car catch itself, and then get back on throttle and complete a donut around this one. So try that. Try doing donuts around one, just doing one transfer to another point and doing a couple donuts. Try doing it the other way. And then try doing figure eights back and forth. So the final step, assuming that you're at a skid pad somewhere safe, hopefully at a track, uh, final step would actually be going to a road course type of track and trying to drift. Before that though, there's one, one more exercise I think is probably valuable for you guys. Since we already have our figure eight set up going, what you're gonna try to do is do a donut around that first point and try to shallow up angle, get on throttle, and then as you get close to this point, pour more angle back into it and come around and do that again. And so now you're essentially doing a straight line with a turn, straight line with a turn, and you're just going back and forth and you can even mix in figure eights with it. That's gonna teach you to 
shallow angle, pour on more angle, which are going to be really necessary once you're on the track. If, if you're only doing one corner, it's going to be very similar to doing that first exercise. But once you are on any kind of road course, they're not usually set up for drifting. So there are straights, you kind of need to shallow up angle, get on throttle. This is a great exercise for learning to do that. Once you've done all these, you're now drifting. Take it to the track, subscribe to our channel, go below in the comments, tell us if this helped you, tell us what else you'd like us to do for you guys, and uh, get out there and shred.